College. Uh, my job role is as Equine Centre Supervisor. Uh, today I have with me Penrose's uh, talisman. Uh, his stable name is Tally. Hi, my name is Craig. I am a centre technician. I work here at the college. Today I have Shadow. She is one of the college owned horses. She's been with us quite some time. Um, so my duties involve looking after Shadow and looking after students and giving them some knowledge on how to look after horses safely and correctly. Within the college we deliver levels 1 up to HND. So you can enter um, at level 1, which is uh, your basic work-based diploma, up into HND equine studies. So here at Gen College we have 16 horses that we look after for part of the college and 7 DIY horses. me and the college horses in many ways really it was quite difficult because we were split into two teams we used to have three members of full-time staff in one bubble um, and that's us throughout the year but during a pandemic we were split so it was carried on one team me and Leah on a different team so it was quite difficult to try and communicate uh, back and forth with each other even just ordering different bits and pieces and just saying how horses uh, are so for me the pandemic had a huge impact on both um, the staff and the horses um, it, it actually gave us the opportunity to spend more time with the horses on a one-to-one -one basis so we spent a lot of the time during lockdown especially in the first 10 weeks where the, the horses weren't um, able to be ridden uh, we spent a lot of time long reining and lunging and just doing some lots of loose school and different activities with them. It was it was just nice to keep them going, keep them motivated. But I think some of the horses missed the idea of, you know, the exams, the lead up to exams. So we often have jump training so the horses know they're gearing up to something. So we'll have sessions where the staff ride the horses and uh, we're schooling them effectively in preparation for exams. So I do think the horses missed that a little bit this year. Obviously we didn't get to go to cross country at all, but um, we, were, we were really, really fortunate that we've got the wonderful resources and facilities that we've got, and we were able to keep our horses working and, and active really. So what message would you give to those perhaps struggling? I think the message I'd like to pass on is don't give up. Um, it's been a really, really challenging time for everybody and um, there's always somebody watching on and looking at the work that we do and thinking what a fantastic service we provide and we need to keep doing that you know the love the animals that we have we unfortunately can't just monitor them from our tally from our television screens at home we have to be here hands-on and i actually feel like i've i've benefited from being able to come out every day and spend time with the horses. I think I would have uh, really struggled if I'd been kept in the house and able to have access to to the animals and you know be able to watch them express themselves and just be part of their day as always. <laughs>